Maybe we still believe the same thing. The Nile. Lifeblood of the world's first great civilization. Flowed calmly outside oh. the palace window. It would probably help the if I plugged it in. <laughs> Welcome to another weekly reading vlog. I just woke up. It is like 9.30 and I thought I would just immediately start another reading vlog because I've been missing them so much. I know a lot of people have been saying they miss them so much, so here it is. Today is the 2nd of January, the second day of the year, the second day of the decade. So I thought I would wake up, make some coffee, write a little bit in my planner, try and plan some things out. I've also been listening to the audiobook called The Woman Who Would Be King, which is all about Hatshepsut. Um, one of the Egyptian kings. She was one of the only women kings and it's just really interesting. I'm only like 48 minutes through so I literally just started it when I woke up this morning but it's like really comforting to have an audiobook playing around the house and listening to someone's voice if the narrator has a nice voice. So um, that is the book I am currently reading. I'm still really trying to work my way through Dorian Gray. Um, I think today my goal is to read 10 pages of that just to see how my eyeballs take it but um, that's that's that. I also have some very exciting mail that just came in. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm gonna go sit down and open it. Um, so I'm still in my pajamas. I will probably have to change out. I'm planning on filming a video today, but maybe I'll just film in my PJs. I don't know. As you can see, I have Seneca right here watching over everything. So I have the package right here. I've not looked at it yet. I am really excited and I'm just okay I'm gonna see if there's like a note or something yes yes okay okay <laughs> oh my gosh dearest Emma Merry Christmas I can't wait to start sending our letters I have both of these books but have yet to read them we should totally do a buddy read whenever you're ready oh my gosh what a yes okay I ran out of room on the first slip. Read this one second. I have a feeling we are both going to love these books. Shakespeare and a mythology retelling. Yes, your bookish friend, Carolyn. Aw, guys, I'm gonna cry. What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I literally, I'm the worst. Whenever someone gives me a present, I just start crying and then... I can't even properly thank the person, but like, Carolyn! No way! Oh my gosh, these are perfect! Carolyn, thank you so much! Oh my gosh! I'm so happy! These are like the perfect choices, how did you know that? Oh my gosh. Okay, she got me If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio, which, like, I've been wanting to read for forever, and it's, like, totally sounds like my kind of book. I think it's a dark academia inspired by Shakespeare, which, yes, Carolyn, if you have it, then we're totally gonna buddy read it. I can't believe it's so stunning as well. Oh my gosh. And it feels so good. It smells so good. This one I've had my heart on and my eyes on for so long. Oh my gosh. Dude, my cheek muscles hurt. It's The Silence of the Girls by Pat Barker. Oh my gosh. I'm literally an emotional wreck. I'm not being coherent at all right now. But this one is When the Greek Queen Helen is kidnapped by Trojans, the Greeks sail in pursuit, besieging the city of Troy. Trapped in the Greek soldier's camp is another captured queen, Perseus. Condemned to be bed slave to Achilles, the man who butchered her family, she becomes a pawn in a menacing game between bored and frustrated warriors. In the centuries after this most famous war, history will write her off a footnote in a bloody story scripted by vengeful men. But Perseus has a very different tale to tell. Literally, you could not have picked, like, any two better books to explain my taste in reading or to compliment exactly what books I wanted in my life at this very moment. 
Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Merry Christmas. Um, oh my gosh. I want to just like, I want to call you and say thank you, but I'm going to text you right now. Thank you so, so much. I keep saying that, but like, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And yes, I can't wait for your letter. I am so excited. Um, if you guys didn't know, I recently got some pen pals and I just, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It is a little bit later now. I believe it just hit 11, but I just like got ready. Well, I'm still in PJs on the bottom half, but that's irrelevant. Um, I just got ready and I think I'm going to film my books that I'm definitely going to read in 2020. I feel a little bit embarrassed about some of the books that are on this list because they're books that I honestly should have read a long time ago. Uh, other than that, I think I have some friends coming over today. All of my home friends who are on break from uni, which is just so great because I miss them all so, so much and they're leaving soon. So they're coming over today. So I've been trying to clean the apartment and make it kind of cozy and homey and just kind of, I don't know, just clean it up a little bit. But uh, I think I'm going to film that video now. I do want to start another book today. I think today I honestly might try reading for a bit of a longer time and just see how that goes because I'm feeling the best today that I've felt since getting my concussion, which like I'm really scared to get hopeful over because I've just, it, I've been like crushed so many times because I've just kind of regressed back to some bad times concussion wise so I'm like hesitant to get happy about it but I think if I'm feeling this good I really need to get started on some schoolwork. I am unbelievably stressed about the amount of work I have to do for school and the fact that like doing the work might make me worse or doing it might just make me feel really sick um, but I know that if I want to get back to school next semester which is in like four days saying that is very scary um, I definitely need to get started on something because I have so many tests and exams and essays and assignments like mounted ahead of me that like I don't know honestly I will probably have to drop my renaissance class I am supposed to write my renaissance literature exam on the 10th which is in eight days and I haven't done any of the work for that class since October so that seems like an impossibility to me if I was 100% better, like, I know I could do that, even though that sounds absolutely crazy, but, like, I'm not, and I know I can't do it. Um, I could try doing it, and I could try passing, but I just don't, I don't know if it's worth it at this point, so, um, I'll just have to see about that. But, yeah, I just thought I'd update that because, um, I know my uni vlogs were, like, doing super well, and they're really popular, and I love them, and you guys love them, and I am gonna be making them again because I am going back to university on the 6th, so... Um, I just don't know how involved I'll be in the academics, but I'm going to be trying my best. So that's my little school update, but um, right now I am going to film. So I just finished filming my video and I also brought home uh, when I last visited all of my writing that I've basically ever done on paper that I haven't thrown out. So it's just like honestly really bad poetry. We have some like diaries and journals and just like random essays and stuff that I have kept and like a lot of it is probably really bad and really cringy but I thought it would be so funny to like do a video where I read some of it like maybe read some of the poetry or the journal entries and there's even like books that I've half written in there so I just thought that would be so funny and if you think that's a good idea let me know because it would definitely kind of be really embarrassing for me but I think it's also important to laugh at yourself and see how far you've developed so um, that's just an idea I've had.
I just finished my 10 minute reading session of <laughs> The Picture of Dorian Gray. I am now 118 pages through. I'm on chapter 10 and basically I'm at the part, I don't want to like say too many spoilery things, but I'm at the part where Basil has just come back over to Dorian's house and he has asked to see the picture that he painted, the portrait of Dorian, and Dorian has absolutely refused to show him because the portrait has actually started to take on attributes of all the bad things that Dorian has done or he's been doing that he doesn't want people to see. So that's kind of the part that I'm at and it's just so, it's so good. If I could, I would like record my own audiobook of this because I love saying Oscar Wilde sentences out loud. I feel like this would be like the perfect book to do an ASMR like version of if that makes sense which is like something I honestly might think about because it's just so pleasing to me to like read it and like have the words pass like from the page like to me. I don't know that didn't really make sense but um, I'm gonna take a break now because I don't want to uh, like push my brain too far but I think right now I'm gonna get a whole bunch of like little board games together so my friends and I can play it and we might try and play blindfolded Mario Kart because I can't look at the screen but it'd be so funny if like two of us or three of us were racing and then like people were directing us. I've done that before and it's just really good fun and like it is doable like I have made laps around not looking at the screen at all so um but I'm really really liking this. I absolutely just want to keep reading but I know I need to take a break so I'll maybe try and come back to this later. I think also I'm gonna try and do some essay research today because that's just honestly paramount right now so that's the plan okay so it is late afternoon now and i think i am going to make a cup of tea and sit down with my essay notes at my desk and see how it goes reading dorian gray made my face go numb which is fine like it's not like a big painful sensation or anything it's just like why is this happening when i read why is making my face go numb is kind of strange but i'm gonna make some lemon ginger tea which i actually used to hate but i've gotten really really into it recently so i'm gonna brew this and then i'm gonna um start reading through my essay notes i basically know what my whole essay is about i just need to organize it and write it which is obviously the hard part when i can't write but it is about beowulf it is about specifically grendel and the question of identity and how your identity is constructed for you so i think it'll be a really interesting one i use a lot of like math and things from the math and science world to explain literature, which is really cool. It's one of my favorite things to do, to combine like those two faculties and those two subjects because they're so close together and people who are like, oh, you're in English and English people who are like, oh, you're in math or science. Like, no, you guys are like, we're sister subjects. We get along so well. We're just ways of explaining, interpreting and feeling the world through equations or words or whatever. So, um, We'll see how it goes. Alright, so I definitely didn't mean to, but I went a little bit crazy. I read through all my notes and I actually wrote a whole intro, which like I definitely wasn't supposed to do that much. But I did and I wrote 200 words and like I'm just, I just couldn't stop myself. I was so excited to get back into school, back into writing this essay. I think it's going to be a really good essay and one that's like really important to me and I already talked about it a little bit but I did just finish my introduction so I think definitely I need to stop here. Um, I'm gonna go eat some hummus and carrots because I'm very very hungry. It's like 2.30. I finished my lemon ginger tea. I might just have some more because it was so good but I'm just, I'm really happy about that. I'm hoping honestly by the 6th I can hand in this essay because 
I just feel really bad that I haven't handed it in yet, but like I know I wasn't able to, but still, anyway. Um, things are going good today. This is a good day. I'm feeling really hopeful. Good morning. It is the next day now. I got up a few hours ago and I thought I would just continue this vlog on because um, I want to and I have some reading updates. It is the 3rd of January and I've already read three books this year so we're doing quite well. One of them was quite short to be honest but um, I do just want to sit down and talk about those books for a few seconds because like I'm so excited to be back doing reading vlogs. I just miss talking about books so much but I'm also just in the middle of getting ready for filming. I think I'm gonna film two videos today. I filmed two videos yesterday. I'm getting like so much in the booktube like mood and I just wanna I don't know this would just be like the best job ever talking about books online with people but um I am gonna sit down and talk about the audiobooks I finished yesterday and today. I feel like I'm literally never in this corner but I did redecorate the walls. We have like this poster of my new favorite movie, Clue, which I believe was like made in 1960, 1950, I don't know, but it's like ridiculously bad and I hold such a huge special place in my heart for movies that are so bad that they're good. Um, and Clue is one of those movies, it's also my favorite board game. And then we have like a little Moulin Rouge uh, painting from Paris, and then we have Hogwarts, and then we have a whole bunch of Greek and Roman uh, postcards that I found at a thrift bookstore. So, um, like I said, I'm still reading Dorian Gray. I do have a goal to read a little bit more of this today. I'm feeling a little bit worse than yesterday, but I do want to keep reading because I think it's important to try and get my brain to get used to it again. Um, I also finished yesterday The Woman Who Would Be Queen by I think her name is Kara Cooney. I don't really know if I messed it up, sorry, but it was all about Hatshepsut and uh, her rise to become pharaoh and her kind of struggles um, because she was obviously a woman and how she overcame that and how she kind of worked around that and incorporated that uh, kind of androgynous representation into her rule, which was so cool. And I always love reading um, Egyptologist work about Hatshepsut and any other pharaoh for that matter, but she's just obviously super cool and it was great. I gave it three stars. And then this morning, I literally finished this book like half an hour ago. I listened to The Sleeper and The Spindle by Neil Gaiman. And it was like the shortest audiobook ever. It was only, I think, an hour long. Um, but it was really cool because it came with like a full cast of narrators and it was a retelling of Sleeping Beauty, obviously. Um, I. I didn't like it as much as I hoped to. I feel like, I guess Neil Gaiman just has really high standards for me now because Coraline and Norse mythology, those are the ones I've read, were just so, so good that I feel like The Sleeper and The Spindle didn't really live up to that. I know maybe, I don't know if it was supposed to be middle grade or children's, I really couldn't tell you. But honestly, it like spooked me a little bit. There were some like cool moments and the, the twist at the end was really cool, but overall it was just kind of, it was just meh, you know what I mean? Um, I did also start listening to I feel like you, could, you guys can tell how much ASMR I've been recently consuming every time I do this with my books. It's just so satisfying to me now and I can't stop it. Watch this become like a bookish ASMR channel. I'll do it. Um, but I started listening to Wildwood Dancing by Juliette Marillier. Last year I got to read Daughter of the Forest by her for the Myth Take Reads Book of the Month in May. I think it was May. And it was really good. I really enjoyed Daughter of the Forest, so I started listening to Wildwood Dancing, and like it's just not, it's not really holding my attention. I think it's loosely based, I could be wrong, it might be based on the Twelve Dancing Princesses, um, the Grimm's Fairy Tale. But I don't know if I'll continue with that, but other than that, I am out of holds. I am out of like books I have in my audiobook library, so I'm gonna have to find some new ones today, because clearly I just can't be held in any book for too long. But like I said, I am going to go film right now. I think I'm going to film series I need to finish, uh, which, yikes, you guys are probably going to laugh because there's so many on there that like, I don't know. Other than that, I've just been having so much fun and I've been so happy and I love talking to like all my bookish friends. That's really what I've been doing all, basically all of yesterday and all of today. And I may be like, pushed my eyeball screen time too far but like it's just I think it's totally worth it because like do what makes you happy and I know there's obviously kind of an expense 
for that for me right now, but talking to like Carolyn and Lucy and Mary and Ashley and Charlotte and Kiara and just everyone, like you guys, I love you guys so much. I feel like, I don't know, I think I say that, I don't know, do I say it enough? But I love you guys so much and I just thank you for constantly just like being kind, genuine, warm-hearted, brilliant, intelligent, wonderful people and I hope I can keep meeting people like you guys online forever and ever because you're seriously the best and this has just gotten really cheesy so I'm gonna sign off for now and I'm gonna go film a proper sit down video but um yeah okay so it's a little bit later now I was editing my December wrap up and then I realized that I have to refilm the whole thing because the lighting is just absolutely it's so bad which is really uh, it's just so frustrating if you've ever had to refilm a video, which I have had to do multiple times in my career, but it's not fun. Basically, this like new setup is super great. I love how everything looks, but like lighting wise, as I'm sure you can even see right now, it's absolutely so hard to deal with because I have three huge windows right here, which is why all this blue light is coming in. And then I don't have a proper ring light, so I'm using like a lamp and it's very yellow. And it's just very hard to like balance and make the lighting look good. And I'm just like, no, because of my December wrap up, the lighting is completely blown out. And I'm just like, ugh. But I will probably refilm that. I might do it today because I wanted to get my wrap up up tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But other than that, I think right now I'm just going to take a little break. Maybe just sit on the couch and just chill my brain out. But um, yeah, that's just really frustrating. So, if anyone has any advice, I don't know, I would gladly take it, so thank you. Hey there, so I just wanted to come on and wrap up the vlog. I realized as I was editing it that I totally forgot to do an outro, so um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching, and I'm really excited. This was like my first weekly vlog of the year. I'm going to be doing weekly vlogs every single week now, which I'm so excited to get back into because I was loving it. I start school tomorrow, which I'm really excited about, and... I'm just really happy to like get back into doing uni vlogs again. I will see you in the next video. Ciao.